The story begins more than two millennia ago. King Harisena, ruler of the Vakataka dynasty, was a staunch devotee of Buddhism. On request of Buddhist monks, he initiated the building of a monastery which would come to be known as one of the world's greatest monasteries. Hidden among the forest, surrounded by vegetation, with the cool air blowing past, the construction started. Monks spent their days carving a cave into a proper place that they could inhabit. Soon, the people of the kingdom started pouring in help. People would bring hammers and nails and aid the monks in their work, while painters would paint pictures of the Buddha, making the cave a livelier place. The valley was pure and free from the bustle of the kingdom. The only sounds of the birds chirping and softly spoken prayers. The cave soon became a beautiful sight with paintings of Lord Buddha in his past lives and rebirths and sculptures of great Buddhist deities. It was the ideal place for monks and travelers seeking refuge. Shortly after the construction of these caves, the Vakataka dynasty fell. The caves were abandoned for a long time. Sometime around 1682, the famous Mughal ruler, Aurangzeb, hired a thousand workers to destroy the Ajanta and Ellora caves. He did this because he strongly opposed any religion other than Islam and is known for having destroyed Hindu temples. In the end, after trying for three years and causing only minimal damage to the caves, he gave up and left them to be. The caves again were abandoned and in 1819, a British soldier on duty was wandering in that area of the forest, hunting a tiger. The soldier, John Smith, came across the empty cold caves. Soon, experienced archaeologists and historians were brought in. Walter Spink, a historian, is best known for his work on the Ajanta Caves. He analyzed the caves for 40 years and he was the one who found out around what century they were built in. Today, years later, people still visit the ancient monument, wandering inside and wondering, what were the teachings of the Buddha that inspired generations to build great places like these? Historic places like the Ajanta Caves have encouraged many people to follow the holy path of Lord Buddha and even motivated artists and sculptors to base their work on Buddhism.